Hey everyone, in today's video, I've put together a complete CyberGhost VPN tutorial for you. I will show you everything you need to know about the entire process, from installing CyberGhost to connecting to a server and taking advantage of its features. If you'd like to follow along on this tutorial, you can easily get CyberGhost by clicking the link provided in the description below. So let's dive in and get started. First, go to the CyberGhost website, open your web browser and type CyberGhost VPN in the search bar. This will route you to their official site. You will be guided through a series of steps to create your account. You will need to provide some basic information, such as your email address, and you will also need to enter your payment information. Now you can download and install the CyberGhost VPN app on your device. The download process will start automatically after you click on the link. Once the download is finished, locate the installer file on your device. This file is usually found in your downloads folder. Double click on the installer file to open it. A setup window will appear on your screen. Follow the on-screen instructions to install the CyberGhost app. This usually involves agreeing to the terms and conditions and clicking next or install a few times. When the app launches, you will be prompted to log in. Use the email address and password you created when you signed up for your CyberGhost account. Once logged in, you will see the main dashboard of the CyberGhost app. The dashboard is designed to be easy to use. This is the easiest way to get started with CyberGhost VPN. If you need more than just the automatically chosen server, don't worry. CyberGhost has over 9,000 servers in 91 countries, so you have plenty of options. With CyberGhost VPN active, your internet connection is encrypted and your IP address is hidden. This means you can browse the internet, stream videos, and use online services with improved privacy and security. The steps are designed to be easy to understand, making it simple for anyone, even those new to VPNs. Now let's talk about the different types of servers CyberGhost offers, starting with torrenting servers. These servers are designed to give you the best possible speeds, when downloading or sharing files using P2P clients like uTorrent. They are located in countries where torrenting is not heavily restricted, so you can use them without worrying about blocks. Next, we have the gaming servers. During my test for this, I found that the gaming servers had inconsistent delays, which caused some lagging issues. This can be frustrating because it defeats the purpose of using a VPN for gaming. Based on my experience, I wouldn't recommend CyberGhost as the best VPN for gaming. Lastly, there are dedicated IP servers. With a dedicated IP, you get your own anonymous IP address in a country of your choice. This can be very useful if you need a consistent IP address for certain online activities. Now that you understand the basics, of connecting with CyberGhost VPN, let's go over some important settings to help you use the app more efficiently. The kill switch is very important because it prevents your real IP address from being leaked if your connection to the VPN server drops. During my tests, the kill switch activated whenever I lost connection to the server, ensuring my IP address stayed hidden. This feature works well and is important for maintaining your privacy. And don't forget, if you ever encounter any issues, the customer service team is available 24 seven and responds quickly to help find a solution to any problems you may have. If you're interested in CyberGhost features, I encourage you to click the link in the description below for an exclusive discount. From my personal experience, I highly recommend subscribing to this VPN. I also wanna highlight that they offer a money back guarantee, which means you've got a full 45 days to decide if CyberGhost is right for you. So there you have it. That's pretty much all you need to know about using CyberGhost VPN. If you found this tutorial helpful, a simple click on the like button would be much appreciated. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and that's it. Have a fantastic day.